He was ridiculously good looking. He was even Nigerian. Though mum flits between this being a good thing in people and the worst. I pulled his photo up on the internet, showed her. She decided on the spot his Nigerianness was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy to pull his photo up on the internet because he was an actor. I'd met him in a theatre. He'd just been given a £3,000 cheque for being a Nigerian actor. It was a very hot summer. I wore a black play suit belonging to my younger sister, but carried a blazer for a look that said, serious play. <laughs> <laughs> he offered to buy me a drink, of course. I pretended I preferred to buy my own. And when he insisted, I said, Okay, like it was quite inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> when our drinks were on the bar and glistening in the prize given heat, he handed the barman he handed our barman the check. Ha ha ha, said the barman. Ha ha ha, I said. So the ridiculously good looking Nigerian had jokes. <laughs> <laughs> on my lunch break, I found a bench outside a gallery. Called him. We were awkward. I ordered him to ask me out. Why wasn't he asking me out? Mum began asking after him. Where's that good looking Nigerian? He didn't tell me. You've ruined it already. <laughs> <laughs> the second time, I spread out on my bed, swung my legs up the wall. It felt cold and good for my nerves. It was a short call because he had to go. Someone was knocking or something. Okay, I said, like it was of no inconvenience whatsoever. I slid my legs back down the wall. A week later, I was standing in his lounge, wearing my coat, or it was over my arm, my shoes still on. Either we were just about to go out, or I just arrived, and he hadn't yet said, here, let me take your coat, or please, take off your shoes. He was running all over the house, upstairs, then down, zooming around. He was running a bath, then letting the water out, only to fill it back up. He ducked into a cupboard and yanked a hoover, a red hoover. He began hoovering everywhere. He even hoovered the ceiling. <laughs> he just walked up the wall, and as he did, looked over his shoulder at me on the floor and said, this won't take long, I just have to. <laughs> when I told mom, she shook her head, laughed, half lemon, half sugar. He's crazy, she said. God's just showing you it'll never work out. Shame. <laughs> that good looking man, Nigerian, she sighed, always into something. <laughs> I'd look him up on the internet sometimes, just to keep up to date with his plays, the BBC dramas. Then I stopped. For years I didn't think of him. Okay, perhaps, but in a loose and smirking way. Playful, no serious pining. What was there to pine, really? Then, in bed one night, watching an okay adaptation on my laptop, the ridiculously good-looking Nigerian walks across my screen. His name escapes my mouth. Half sigh, half whistle. I say it like damn. I say it like man, where have you been? He has a few lines and then he's stabbed on the street. I recognize having danced down a long time ago, long before I met him at that theater with his check folded into his pocket. I remember our two awkward phone calls and him hoovering his ceiling. <laughs> and I laugh into my pillow as he bleeds out. <laughs>